Jimmy's girlfriend is an international archer from South Africa, and she's been on the world stage a couple times, too. Yeah, she uh, won a gold medal in Turkey um, when I won my first gold medal. So, but, um, yeah, this COVID stuff kind of put a damper on a lot of stuff. Yeah. So she's stuck over there, and I'm stuck over here, but yeah. better be safe than sorry. And Yeah, it's just better to stay here and keep practicing on your own for now, but definitely helps having that person you can bounce off of. All right. We got women's recurve. So We've we heard have, of these names. Yeah, we have Mackenzie Brown and Casey Coffold. Mackenzie is the women's Olympian from Rio, and Casey is now the up-and-comer. She's only 16 from Lancaster, and she just won the indoor final similar to how Paige did. And so Casey has been practicing a lot lately, really improving and coming up through the ranks. Oh, yeah. It, it's been really cool to see. Um, Casey won a gold medal in the mixed team and women's team in the Pan Am Games. Yeah, she, I think she had the most medals out of all the archers that were there as far as, because she, I think, had a team medal, an individual medal, and a mixed team medal. That's impressive with Brady being there, you being there. Yeah, Brady was definitely... Impressive to see that. It was kind of fun to see her walking around with all that weight around. <laughs> it's definitely cool. And being so young, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. And then Mackenzie and Casey are... Mackenzie has been the number one archer in the U.S. for many years, and now Casey has just taken that a little bit. So It's always a good match battle every yeah, This match should be good. One and two, it's always good to see. Yeah. So, Jack, why don't you tell us a little bit about how this recurve match will work? So, unlike the compound match, where it was five ends of three arrows, 15 arrows score, and then 150 is the max score, and however you score against that cumulative, this is what's called set system. And the set system, if you win your that end, you get two points. And if you tie with your opponent, you get one point. And it's the first to six. And you can have a 6-0 match and be done in three match, or three arrows, or you can have a 5-5 and have a shoot-off. So definitely a little bit more oriented towards a throwing, like you know, one person might shoot a good end, then a bad end, then another good end. So it kind of makes up for that. And where set system, or I mean cumulative score, you have to be perfect for all 15 arrows. Yeah. So we'll see how this goes. All right, and it looks like Casey will start us off here. Both shooting a Hoyt. Both shooting Hoyt bow, X10 arrows, Excel sight. Left nine, so probably just that little bit of wind just off. So we also shoot 20 meters further from compound on a slightly bigger target face. So actually ends up being kind of a similar look because it's a smaller target closer so it ends up being similar but yeah mm. nice 10 Casey nice start off strong yeah see both of them perfect height so you can tell that good shots she's making there yep mm. kind of matches, matches that. it it's gonna be a good battle yeah we've probably seen this a lot of times too yeah this one has happened quite a few times mm. just tall Both, so they're gonna share the set points there. Yeah, one to one. Now, I'm not a recurve guy, mm -hmm. but that seems pretty dang good. Twenty eights <laughs> are definitely good. I mean, it's getting more internationally where twenty eights are maybe not the greatest score, but it's definitely twenty eights and twenty nines are good scores for to be able to come out here and do. So a little bit different from compound where you're expecting a 30, but yeah. this is great shooting coming on here. I know I tried a, a recurve last year. You did. So you tried my recurve. That was I'm pretty sure I put four arrows in the dirt. Yeah, it's a little bit harder. Yep. It's a lot more of a form sport <laughs> and a technique based where compound is more 
execution and aiming. Yeah, definitely. It was definitely a, a workout as well. Yeah. So compounds, most of the guys, I would guess, are shooting 60 pounds. Yep. The women are probably shooting low, low to mid-50s. Yep. And they also have let off. So after you draw back the bow, it lets off, and then you're holding a percentage of whatever weight you are. Yep. Recurve, on the other hand, is no let off. So you're holding that weight the whole time. So I would guess these girls are probably shooting about low 40s pounds, okay. but the entire shot. So at full draw, you're holding 40 pounds. Some of the guys are shooting between 48, maybe low 50s mm -hmm. with no let off. So it's definitely yeah, that's a workout. I mean, my bow's 60 pounds, but with my let off, I'm it's 9 pounds holding weight. Yeah. So that's a huge difference. Two right nines to start off for these girls. I wonder if they're both aiming off and they both just didn't get pushed by that wind. The target flags don't look to be moving too much. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's been moved down. That is on the 9-8 line. Let's see if Mackenzie can take advantage. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing both of those hit right behind where she was aiming, so... If the wind picks up, which it seems to be doing a little bit. It's good ten. Good correction. Now Mackenzie didn't move her sight, so I'm assuming she was aiming off a little bit to the right. Well, my guess is now she's gonna aim in the same spot, and the wind's gonna carry in the middle. I know, right nine. Just right nine. So good group. Casey will win the set points for that. Yes, yeah, so and I was three one. So even though Casey, if you look at it cumulatively, is up one point, she's actually up two set points because of the way it works. So it's very, just a little bit different way of scoring a match. Yeah. So Mackenzie is a resident athlete with me at the Olympic Training Center, which is where this tournament is being held. We have a 70 meter indoor building and a 70 meter outdoor range and a bunch of other areas we can shoot in those buildings. And Casey is actually from Pennsylvania and she has her own range that through Lancaster Archery and she trains there pretty much full-time too. So both these archers are full-time archers. How does that go to, to how the compounds usually train? Um, a lot of the compounds that have compounds are full-time archers. Um, it's compounds a little different. We don't have the Olympics and stuff like that. Um, I wish we did. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, maybe someday. So we, everybody basically trains um, at their local club yeah. or... Uh, if they're lucky enough to have something at their house that they can train at. A little backyard target. Backyard target, out of the garage, into the yard, you know, stuff yeah. like that. All right, so Mackenzie's starting off first here. Yep. There nice he is. Yeah, made that correction. Yep. It's on the left side there. So one thing I've noticed about this field is the wind is very deceiving. Mm -hmm. It can do a lot more than you think it would, or a lot less than you think it would. Yeah, this is a very interesting wind, too. It's a little bit, almost halfway in between a true right to left and into the head. Yeah. So it's that quartering wind. It's very tricky to pick off, because there's trees behind us, so the way it comes up over there is a little bit different. A little issue with the clocks there, but we're good now. Yeah. These archers are so experienced, they caught that real quick, so they didn't accidentally mess up yep. when to shoot. Mm -hmm. Looks like a wind caught that one yep. on the left side. Kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a little oomph at the end, but mm. nice 10. It's a good 10. And that Casey is up 5-1. So it looks like Mackenzie has a piece of glass in her... Uh, scope housing. Can you explain that a little bit? Yeah, so earlier we heard Jimmy talking about how compounds, he's shooting an 8 power, some of them shoot a 6 power, more common might be a 4 power. Recurve, we get no power. So we're shooting 70 meters with zero magnification. And you can kind of pick whatever you want in that glass, or if you even want glass, or just open ring. I think Casey's shooting just open nothing. But you can kind of pick if you want a dot, what size dot. That's about it. So Mackenzie is shooting a clear target lens with, I'm going to guess, probably a 1.2, 1.3 millimeter dot. Maybe a little bit bigger. And that dot 
you size most people pick right around the size of the goal. Okay. And it just covers up that goal and helps you aim. Casey, on the other hand, is shooting an open ring. So that sight might have almost the whole target in the picture, and you're just focusing on centering. Okay. And keeping that center driving towards the middle. And that tends to break in the middle. That's interesting. Yeah, coming from compound and shooting high magnification. Yeah. It, when I tried diff- recurve, it was a whole different sport. Yeah. It was crazy. And along with that magnification aspect, you also have the peep for compound. So you can have something to look through and line up with. Recurve is we don't get a peep. It's good so 10 what, for Mackenzie there. What we end up doing is lining up the string, because we can see the string, with some part of the bow. And that keeps kind of your left and right consistency. Because if you're messing up your what's called string alignment, that can definitely throw you off. Similar to if you're looking through your peep crooked. Or yeah. Here we go. Kenzie's definitely made her correction. She knows when to turn it on when she can. 10, 10, 10, 10. That's the thing with Casey now being up 5-1. All she has to do is tie. Yeah, she just has to match Mackenzie's next arrow. That's 9 8. Probably an 8. We'll have to wait for the judge on that. So Casey, Casey has to, cool to win. And Done. 30 is it. It's a good way to end it. Yeah, that was a very good way to end They both made good corrections. And she get, gets a hug from her dad, Mr. Rob Caulfield. Yeah, we, Rob Caulfield, the coach slash dad over Coach here. slash dad. <laughs> We've all got one of those. Oh, yeah. And who's Mackenzie's coach? Is that Chris, Chris Webster? Webster. Okay. Yeah, Chris Webster is now the assistant head coach at the Olympic Training Center here with us. So he's been a great aspect, or asset, I should say, to have as another person to bounce ideas around with and really focus on your form and what works. Because it's one thing to shoot a form and then one thing to shoot a form that works good for you. And Definitely. You can, you can try all these different things, but if it's not working for you, it still won't work. Definitely. And he's been really good aspect, along with Coach Lee here, to come out with what works the best for everybody here. I think that is one great thing about archery is you look at Brady and yourself, you don't look, the form isn't, there's not a lot of similarities, you know? Yeah. I mean, you look at, and that tends to be, there's something in the recurve world. There's a couple different ways of shooting. There's NTS, which is the way... We push here in the U.S., and that's um, Coach Lee's method. Uses a lot of mechanics and back tension and pulling, using your scapula muscle and really driving that tension around. And then there's a push-pull method, which is what you see more in Korea. And archers, I want to follow that path. And they both work. I mean, the Koreans are very dominant, but... The Americans can also be very dominant, so yeah, definitely. It's kind of whatever works, and you just gotta find that magic thing.